counter because literally it was because I literally smashed A. And so I got really angry. Yay, we got Lugia. Not like it's gonna matter. Oh. There we go. Uh, no. I don't think so. We need to heal everyone. Yeah, so that new game, uh, that fan game is going to be really fun. Uh, it's based in Kanto. It has, I think, Johto elements in it. And I think it also takes inspiration from, I think, the Gen 3 remakes, I think, as well. And I'm trying to remember if it takes anything else as well. I can't quite put my finger on it. I think it does. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that's that's really that really needs to be mentioned, I think. Like I've tried to wrap my head around like, is this really needed to say? I don't think so. I've seen uh uh one person play this uh fan game, which is which is kind of like where I get these a lot of these fan games is like I've seen someone play it. Uh, but this one is a bit different because this isn't where uh, the person that I usually get these from or that I watch from. It's actually a different person. And uh, when he played, it was very interesting because I don't remember most of the Pokemon that he was using. So when I got it, I was hoping that I got the same version. I think even uh, one of the, I think it was Pokemon Silver sessions i was i was uh, i think i was downloading it in the background and i was even like is this even the right version and something you can do before you even boot up the game is you can actually look at the sprites of the pokemon so you can find out if it's there uh it wasn't there and i was really confused so i was trying to look everywhere for it and i think they had And I think there was a Discord that had alternate sprites for the Pokemon in case you didn't like the originals or something like that. Like, a lot of them were fan creations, I think. And one of them was my favorite, so. Or two of them. There's... Wait, there was three alternate ones, I think, right? There's three that I changed, definitely. I can't think of the others, though. There's three I definitely changed. One was because, like... Or two of them was because, like, the alternate sprite looked a lot better than the others. Uh, one of them was because, like, I wanted to see what the other sprites... Or what the other sprites uh, looked like. And what was the other one? There has to be another one that I'm just not remembering. Uh, can I pull it up? I don't know which version is which, though. I'll pull up this version. Let's hope this doesn't override my save and just ruin it. <laughs> I hope not. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I forgot to unpause the recording. I forgot to unpause the recording. And Brock has been defeated. Oh my word. 
How did I not notice it until after? I was literally just talking about the game that we're going to be doing after Crystal, and of course when I'm just about to talk about something else, I look and I see that the video has been paused. Ugh. Well, it wasn't really that... Well, it wasn't really that difficult. I just earthquaked everything. I know it's not the, really the same... It's not really the point, but... Yeah, I just earthquaked everything. Ugh. I mean, I'll still put in the part number that I finished the gym, because I did, but like... Or the part name. I'll still put it that I beat the gym, but still, like, that's infuriating wait I saved before the Snorlax I saved before the Snorlax I saved before the Snorlax hang on a second yes uh, you have to actually still use the poke gear. Or you still have to tune it in. Yeah. So I'll talk about the game while I am doing this. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, so... Uh, before I... Yeah, so, like, there's about, like, three Pokemon I had to change the sprite of because, well, they looked cooler in these new sprites than they would if they were just normal. And one I changed because I wanted to see what the if there was any other sprites. I like the one that was already there. I just wanted to see if there was any other choices, and there was. So, I was not disappointed. I was very happy that there was other choices for it, and uh, I was and for this game, I pretty much played with just my starter. Everybody else was just sort of in the party, just collecting experience and only being used whenever I needed them to. Uh, should I use? Yeah, hyper potion should be fine. It's just going to take me out, but it's fine. So pretty much at the end of the game, or at the end of where I am right now, the starter is level 92. Meanwhile, like, everybody else is about 50, or not 50, uh, 85s and such. Except for one, which is only level 70, but that's because, like, it's a newer, it was lately added to the team. And uh, right before I discovered that I wasn't recording... I was going to go look for the final member if I did have one. And then that's when I realized that I wasn't recording. And I was about to talk so about something else. As well. But sort of just defeats the point now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think any of these are really what I'm looking for. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, so I was unable to fi uh, to find out what my final Pokemon was. Unless I moved it here. I don't think so. It'd be kind of weird if I moved it here, though. Uh, we're not going to catch this, are we? Now it's just going to be stubborn. It's not going to stand. Yeah, I don't think it's here. Okay, well, if it hits cut, I'm just... Yep. Uh, restart. There we go.
Hmm. Yeah, so I kind of forgot that I had other Pokemon that were uh, useful to my team. And then I kind of just remembered by looking at these. Oh, I forgot about this one. Yeah, this one looked very awesome. I would love to use it, but... I think its types overlap with something else. Is that correct? Yeah. Actually, its type overlaps with two of my Pokemon. But I guess I could use it for, like, the beginning. Because I won't need those... Uh, maybe. I mean, it wouldn't help. I mean, it would help a lot if they were there. Oh, it changed. Oh, right. Yeah. Also, something that was really weird, and I don't know if this ever happened to anybody else, so if it did, let me know. I mean, I'll... I mean, I'll mention it the on the first video. Because I'll probably just end up showing what the save is before we uh, New Game Plus it. Uh, don't worry, it has different, like, save file names, so it's not like it's going to overwrite it and I'm going to be like, no! Uh, but, uh, when I caught a Pokemon, it wasn't shiny. And then when you use the mechanic that is... Oh, wait, yeah, Ho is alive, so I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, so when, uh, this game, when you use its mechanic, uh, to, uh, when you use its mechanic twice, because it does something at first, and then it reverses it the second, uh, what ends up happening is that, uh, it turned my Pokemon shiny. I'm not joking. It turned it shiny. And I was baffled by the fact that, like, my Pokemon just magically turned shiny. I was surprised, if anything. Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. Ooh, that looks so cool. Like, something we can do is we can do, like, legendaries only. But I find that's a bit too overpowered. Considering the fact that we'll have, like, base 600 Pokemon at level 5. And especially with this mechanic where you can combine stuff like items and such so it's like it's like do we really want to do that also um uh i don't i don't really need to save the game anyway there's nothing mean happening anyway uh for uh pokemon scarlet and violet i was looking into my urshifu's moves and I found the perfect item for it. So if you have a dark fighting type or the, the like the single blow, or even if you have the uh, the rapid strike one, if you give it a move pool that you like a lot, uh, I personally like uh, for my dark type. I personally gave it a uh, wicked blow, which is its signature move, uh, drain punch for recovery, but also because of the stab. And I also gave it the Thunder Punch, so that it could take out uh, water types. So it can take out the opposite Urshifu, if need be. Or it can take out the... Um, or it can take out any flying types that are slower than it. But you probably wouldn't stay in anyway. And uh, you would have Bulk Up, so that you were able to take a hit and you can actually dish out a lot of damage. And then I think I found out it can learn Swords Dance, so I might change that. But, uh, I found out, though, that, like, there is an item in... Well, I already knew about the item, but I didn't know everything about it. And Serapy has me a bit confused on how it works. Uh, because I read a different item that does similar... Uh, what is it called? I think it's called this, I think? Yeah. So the item's name in question is called the Punching Glove. So here is what Cerebi says that the item does. So it gives you a list of all the items that affect this that affect this item, or that get affected by this item. 
and that uh, an ab that doesn't stack with an ability. That's completely fine. So here is what the in-depth effect of this item does. This effect will boost the power of punching base moves by 10% for the holder. This move also prevents any effects from physical contact from affecting the holder if they are use if they use a punching based move. And then it says that this does not stack with the ability Iron Fist. So hold on a second. So here is what's very confusing to me. It says this move also prevents any effects that cause physical contact. That's the part that has me a little bit confused here. Is that a typo? Is that not a typo? And is that actually what it says in the game? Unclear. However, this is pretty much a combination of, if you've ever heard of the item called Muscle Band, uh, Muscle Band, unless they boosted it, no. So this is a combination, or more of a specialized version of it, not really uh, like directly 